G'day and welcome back to The Ground Gives Way. Now it's been a little while since I've had a chance to play this game, so I'm going to have to uh, freshen up and find out exactly what's going on. Uh, let's just click on here. Um, I'll just hit Z and um, let's see what we've got. We're losing... I'm just going through the stats here. I'm losing... Uh, mana points to the um, to an item of some sort. Block probably from my shield, I think. A missile from oh, must be a variety of items. And equipment ah, uh, the amulet of bloodlust. So or bloodthirst, I think I've upgraded it to. I've found out what the mechanic of blood, how the mechanic of bloodlust works. Now the this is pretty much straight from the developer, but um, whenever a living monster is killed. Each of its max HP is rolled against your bloodlust percentage, so in my case it's 50%. And then that heals me one uh, health per successful roll. Um, so on average, you heal the percentage of the bloodlust of the monster's max HP. Um, so uh, just to kind of make that make maybe a bit more sense, the... Um, the way it works is that, say you killed an enemy that had 4 HP, on balance, if you've got 50% bloodlust, you should get about um, uh, 2 HP uh, back after killing them. So we'll see how that sort of pans out. Uh, let's just uh, exit out of that and we'll go into our inventory. So we've got our headband, which gives us plus missile. It gets my hair out of the way so I can aim. We've got our amulet of bloodthirst. We've got our rusty... We don't want that equipped. I must have had that equipped for some time. Let's pop that in there. Um, oh, we've got two broken amulets. And we've probably got enough to upgrade one of them. Let's see how that works. Now, I can't upgrade two broken amulets. But, what would happen if I dropped one? Let's see here. We go inventory. We will drop one broken amulet and have a chat with him again. Here we go. I can actually upgrade that now. So let's see what we get. Amulet of life saving. What is this? Glows with a powerful life force. Hmm, I don't know what that does either. I, I think it might be something that will save my life. Don't know. Maybe it's just the right thing to put on when I'm about to die. Let's. We'll just have to find out. Anyway, let's. We'll pick up our old broken amulet, but I may end up getting rid of it. Let's head back down to where we were before. So we search here. Oh, there's a room I hadn't searched. Let's check that out. Two open doors, fermented apple. Um, oh, that'll confuse me, so it, it'll make me a bit drunk, I guess. Um, but it will instantly hear me if I you know, need it in a pinch. So let's see what else we've got here. Nothing there. Nothing there. Nothing there. Nothing around. All right. Let's just oops, let's just close all of these and head down to the next level. So let's ah okay. So this is where I slept and then got teleported over to around here, I think, or around here, and um, I had to try and make my way back. If I recall, there was a there was a um, ice wall here, which usually houses some pretty serious enemies. So we, I'm not feeling that strong at the moment. So I don't know if I'll go in there, but uh, I don't know. Never know what we'll find here. Ah, uh, cut purse. Let's see what he does. So, where are we? To examine. So he's Malay. He'll instantly damage me, and he'll instantly steal my stuff as well. Um, I have a bit of a problem with that. 
if he steals something of mine that I really want, let's see what we've got here. That stuff's all fine. Oh, I don't really want to lose my Rod of Acid Rain or my Amulet of Life Saving. We might have to try out our jeweled wand on him if it if it allows me. Let's see. Okay, wand of missiles. That's always good. The other possibility is that I could um, drop stuff so that he doesn't steal it off my person, but he's got a very low chance to hit me. So if he does steal anything, it won't be too much. Ah, and there we go. Your bloodlust kicks in. You are healed for three HP. That is awesome. Let's see if we lost anything. No, it looks like we've still got everything in hand. Excellent. Wow, okay, so... Amulet of Bloodlust, not bad. Not bad at all. Oh, he hurts a lot. He hurts a hell of a lot. Okay, he's running away. Good. Might just throw a... Hmm, there's nothing in here. Let's just head out. Um, it's funny, when you're walking around, you don't often check the features on the side here and you'll you'll often miss um, sort of places where you can use your pickaxe uh, and I'm pretty badly hurt so I might close all my doors just in case anything spawns in there don't really want them to take me out if it doesn't need to happen and we'll just check what we've got we've got a frozen meat terry tellyberry we might use this burned scroll when we wake up as well. So let's, um, we'll just rest. There we are. Ah, oh, sweet. Frozen meat is thawed. That means I can eat it now, which I probably will do. Um, actually, we'll, <laughs> we'll try this scroll first. Scrolls in the past have made me lose all of my food and so if I eat this now I'll lose it immediately so let's find out and it was a very good thing I did you are more hungry you are starving you cannot rest until you eat something so let's eat my piece of meat that was not very good but ah, whatever oh that was not there before Okay, what have we got? So it gives me a lot more magic. I'll hold on to it in the... I don't know, just in case I um, start picking up some more... Um, sort of, I don't know, wizardy related stuff. Um, this game is... I don't know if I've, ex I've explained this yet, but this game is kind of interesting in terms of its progression. It's not tied to leveling. So every time I kill a monster, I'm not getting any more sort of experience or anything like that. Oh, I've just lost my rusty shield. That's no good. Throw a rock at him. There we go. Healed for one HP. That's not too bad. Um, yeah, so there's actually no point in me attacking attacking stuff if I don't need to because um, I'm not going to get any benefit out of it and the leveling is tied entirely to the itemization <sighs> cut purse this is actually going to be a problem now that I don't have my ability to block that I used to but that's all right um, do I have a better weapon could use that. Mm, that does seem a bit of a waste. Let's just keep hitting him and hope for the best. So far, so good. Okay. One gold was stolen. That's alright. I don't mind that. Now he's running away. Excellent. Healed back up. So this 
longbow. Let's see what it does. Longbow. A longbow. Accurate, but a bit noisy. It'll give me a plus three to my missile. But I've only got blunt arrows. Blunt arrows don't do any damage. Well, they don't do any damage on their own. If you can knock back an enemy into a wall, it'll actually um, it'll actually cause a bit of damage that way. So uh, it's a, uh, this is a tough one. I'll swap out. I'll get rid of these rocks. We'll pop in our longbow and we'll pop in our blunt arrows. And you can see now here I've got a ranged attack of six or missile of six. So, I don't know, we'll try it out. The joy of this game is that you can keep swapping your items sort of around. So with the game being tied purely to itemization, the RNG, uh, Mysterious Vein, Rusty Pickaxe, and where is it? Where are you, Mysterious Vein? I'm waiting for him to glow. Maybe he's not going to. Oh, I've just guessed. There we go. Malachi. Excellent. Um, we'll pop our rusty sword, our wooden sword back in. Wand of missiles. I'm guessing I know what that is because I've already got one. Yeah. There's really not much point picking up a second wand of missiles, so we'll just leave that where it is. Now, the one upshot of me having lost my shield is it's becoming a little bit more desirable to potentially go into magic. That shield was reducing my uh, mana quite significantly, in fact to the point where it was almost not much point in using it. So we'll have to... I don't know, I sort of need a few more items first before we, before we make a decision on there. This ice room down here, I'm not going to go in there. I, I don't feel confident at this stage to sort of defeat whatever's hiding in that room. Although I don't really feel all that confident defeating what's happening on level 5, so let's see how we go. Uh, it's a little passageway here. Piece of bread, we needed that. I won't eat that just yet. An armoured goblin, okay, that's a bit of a problem. Or is it? Let's shoot at him. Oh, where'd he go? Hmm, okay. Oh, I've just got a phone call. I'll be back in a tick. And through the magic of editing, the phone call has disappeared. So let's see where we're at. While I was having a chat, actually, the, I, um, I sort of made an idea about what I need to do. I don't know why he jumped up there, but obviously there's a reason. Um, I'm going to pull back, and then I'm going to try and use my arrows to knock him back into this wall to damage him. But we'll just have to see what happens there. I'm going to see what I can do. Am I clicked on? Yes, I am. Okay, let's bravely... Oh, crud. Okay. <laughs> Shimmering Snake. Let's have a look at him. Uh, S isn't going to do anything. Um... So if he hits me, he's going to confuse me. Um, we'll just go. So he emits light. So you can actually see him in dark rooms sometimes. Hides in grass. I think we just did see some grass in there. Um, he's got a permanent resistance to cold. He can be blocked. He's got an instant damage of one. So I've actually got no way to protect myself against this guy. Um... If he's got a permanent resistance to coal, I don't know what kind of damage he'll do, but let's just find out. Snakes are pretty serious sort of things. I do have my Wand of Missiles though, maybe I'll just end up using that to get rid of him. Oh, I did block it, there we go. It's alright. Um... Oh, I'm too confused to use magic because he's bitten me. Oh dear, okay. Um... We're going to have to... Oh, here comes the goblin. Oh, I can actually hit that goblin into the wall there. I'm going to... Oh, 
let's think here. I'm going to pull back. Because the one thing I really want to do is be able to get that goblin in a position. And a frost beetle. Okay, let's pull right back. Okay. So, if I hit space, I'll use my um, blunt arrows. And I've got an 80% chance to hit, which is actually pretty good. So, let's see if I can hit him here. Knocking him back. Excellent. Okay. We should be... Where's our goblin? Ah, oh, crap. That's not good. Let's have a look at him. Heavily armoured goblin. I didn't really want him to get right on me like that, but that's just the way it goes. Um, what's, we've got equal chance to hit. Do I have anything that will help me? I've got my wooden sword. I can always pop on my amulet of life saving if things get too real. Um, I do my rock. I can't really... Th you can't throw stuff at guys if they're right next to you. There is a chance I'm ever so slightly faster than him, so let's... Oh, I just got confused. Hmm, doesn't look like... Ooh, I got confused. That's excellent. Okay, so now I can hit him back. So what happened is I had my movement, but it's almost like there's a extra movement you get that um, allows you to which confuses you and then you stumble and so we may now be able to hit this guy him again don't know where he is oh there he is okay we've got him against the wall excellent oh no he's not dead crap Goblin armor, he must have died. He did, yay! And we got some goblin armor, so let's have a look and see what we've got here. Goblin armor. So it'll reduce my max MP. It'll actually reduce my melee as well. It'll reduce my ability to block, but it'll increase my armor. So, goblin armor, let's just see this, is. Pretty bad. It says here, a little bulky and uncomfortable, but extremely protective, which... <sighs> there are situations where that is what you're looking for, but I don't think that's... Oh, ah, there's my shimmering snake. We're going to just knock him against the wall. There we go. My bloodlust kicks in. I get 2 HP. Excellent. A glowing egg. What is a glowing egg? Let's see here. It'll inc temporarily increase my light. That might be a good idea, actually. We'll consume the growing, glowing egg. Um, we've got... Fermented apple. It will heal me. I'm already confused, so it's not going to cause any extra problems there, so I might as well eat it. Oh. Got a giant rat. We're just gonna pull back from here like we did the last guy. I just wait one. There we go. There we go. Bloodlust kicks in. I'm here one HP. Excellent. Okay, so this is actually working out pretty well so far. Trees. I don't know what trees do. Mm, they just seem to be blocking me. We've got a small bush. I think I'll run into that just yet. We've got a mana fountain. Not really what we're looking for, but let's have a look at this. I think I might already even have these. Leather arm guard, yeah, I do. I'll hold on to it. Sometimes weapons and things break or degrade. Um, like wandering through water will make things go rusty. Oh, fell off my rock. Um, I will take this mana fountain. Not much I can do with it at the moment simply because I'm confused, but let's have a look and see what's in these bushes. The bone bat. Am I faster than bone bat? I am not. Aha, that's what I wanted. Let's hit him back. Ah, oh, he's back on me again. 
So I've got a 40% chance to hit him and he's got a 60% chance. He's doing a fair bit of damage, so what I'm going to do... This is possibly the end, but I'm going to try and put on this amulet of life-saving. Just to see what happens, because I don't know. Let's make sure. Did I put it on? I did, okay. One and one. Hopefully he starts running away. Bone Bat is destroyed. Awesome. Um, I'm reluctant to open up that next small bush, so what we'll do is close the door. And we'll try resting in here. Rest. Oh, my apple has fermented, that's alright. So you continue. Um, we will... We still got one piece of bread left. So what it was telling me there is that because my food's down to zero, I'm not allowed to rest again. If I try to sort of do that, rest, you're too hungry to rest. And this is where that the rest mechanic sort of comes in. So I'm in dire need of more food. I do have one extra bit of food, but I'm just holding on to it just to see what happens. Um, and we'll put our amulet of bloodthirst back on. And there was nothing in there anyway. So, I don't know, it didn't really matter in the end. Oh! Frost Beetle. So, ah, I remember him from last time actually. Let's just take him out. Excellent. Healed 2 HP. Always very nice. And there's another Frost Beetle and a Shimmering Snake. I'm just going to hit him against. Or we'll hit him against the wall. Can. Oh, that was not a bad shot. Let's try and hit him again. Excellent. Okay. How are we going for ammo? We've only got 12 of those left. Um, but yeah. I think, because I cut the recording too. I don't know how long it's gone, so I'll probably pause it there and we'll um, and we'll pick it up on the next episode. Um, yeah, thanks for watching and see you later.